with Trump ahead in the polls, with Hillary floundering and clearly having a medical crisis, will the establishment, the corrupt globalists that have hijacked America, kill Donald Trump? Now, this is really important because the individual saying this is basically the mouth of Vladimir Putin. So this is Vladimir Putin telling the American people, the Russian people, and the people of the world about their concerns for Donald Trump. And I think these concerns are extremely valid. Here is the report. Two important pieces of news regarding Donald Trump. Number one, he is ahead in polls by two points. Number two, Trump declared that if he is president, he aims to have, quote, very good relations with Russia. This combination of Trump's characteristics, his leadership in the presidential race, his ability to speak boldly, his intentions to turn over a new leaf regarding the Russian-American relations, all this puts Trump in a very dangerous situation. Now they can just simply kill him. The intelligence services of the United States are not interested in the type of president Trump vows to be, because the contrived enemy in the form of Russia justifies their existence. American elites are not interested in a President Trump, as the establishment world order provides them with reliable sources of lucrative business. Trump, on the other hand, who is ready to reach agreements, would bring about a different set of financial opportunities flowing in other directions. The American establishment is merciless. Paul Craig Roberts, former Assistant Secretary of the Treasury for Economic Policy under President Reagan, has published a guest column on his website back in March by a journalist, Stephen Lendman who commented on what has become a very popular theme on social media websites. Quote, maybe an unfortunate plane crash, other fatal accident, or mysterious incurable fast-acting deadly illness is planned. Will Trump be gone before Republican choose their nominee in July, or perhaps before November's election? This narrative hasn't stopped, but the current state of the presidential race for Hillary Clinton is such where she has used up all of her available ammunition against Trump. She has an empty holder. Yet there are still almost two months to go until the election. She has already accused Trump of being a Putin agent, that he hates Muslims, Mexicans and blacks, and his wife Melania is unworthy of the title of the First Lady, and that Trump himself is simply unfit, and that he's even deranged, and that he understands nothing in the way of the US strategy, nor international affairs and that he's a misogynist. Meanwhile, Trump details his plan of building relations with Russia, goes to Mexico, visits a popular black church, defends his wife's honor in court, and sees to his popularity among women. And the result? The scars put on Trump have nearly closed up, but the holes inflicted on Clinton are needing emergency surgery. Her carelessness with handling classified material while Secretary of State, foreign policy that led to terrorist expansion, her avarice and the questionable reputation of foreign donors to the Clinton Foundation, the dirty tricks of the Democratic National Committee favoring one candidate over the other, and finally Hillary's failing health, whether it's her fainting episodes or the coughing fits. So what's the solution? Shoot Trump? The option isn't far-fetched. After all, the United States has boasted of more president shootings than any other country in the world. Russia has state-run media. Here in the United States, we have global corporate-run media that literally has seized control of our nation. And just as Putin helped kick the oligarchs out of Russia, we're seeing the exact same thing begin to unfold here with Donald J. Trump leading a movement to kick the same oligarchs out of the United States. That's why they've tripled down, even in the Washington Post today, and are now claiming that Putin may be poisoning Hillary. Now, wait a minute. I thought that it was a conspiracy theory that she was even sick, but now the Russians are behind her illness. Ladies and gentlemen, we have foreigners already running our country. We already have globalists. And so they're trying to manipulate our nationalism against the Russians, hoping that we don't see the real threat internally that has hijacked our nation.